hello and welcome to a new video about ddt for all and touch and no cars in this video i will show you how to activate current uh, temperature display in the speedometer i have here pictures after the activation the things should look like this this is the coolant uh, graph and here on the right side is the description for each bar for zero bars means the temperature is below 25 degrees and up to five bars when the temperature reach over 100 3 degrees for this activation do we need an obd2 interface and uh, ddt T for all programs this is uh, this activation is valid for logan sandero duster docker and logi this display can be activated in generation 2 of Dacia with speedometer version 14 production date around September 2017 or later activation it's only possible for speedometers with the large display so in the menu we have to find the tdb so we have this cluster tdb and in the speedometer cluster uh, x52 or higher so we have this one cluster x52 x67 79 and so on these are the code from Dacia factory. Under the general configuration, configuration two, and we have here the first field engine temp present. Engine temp is not present, so we have to to change with engine it's present engine temperature is present and after that we, we have to press on the Einstein phase and write engine temperature and restart the speedometer by Pressing on this button, acknowledge modification. You can press here to restart, and after that, the coolant temperature is displayed in the onboard computer based on the average speed but only with the ignition on. These are the Temperatures where the corresponding bar lights up when the engine cools down, they only go out for degrees below this threshold. This could be also be valid for the Duster 2, also Sandero 3 and Logan 3 or Jogger, but uh, I didn't uh, 
test this on this type of cars only on the generation 2 from Dacia but uh, also for the duster 2 if not activated from the factory the display can be activated but only for the cars with the large display in the speedometer in the speedometer cluster tdb find the cmfp cluster or cluster l on l2 the first one double click and under the ecrans configuration conf prestation emh set the parameter water temperature page mine i to it now it's without always activate Einstein phase and send the command on from the yellow button now the command was sent via the OBD2 interface and was right inside the ECU the last step is to reset, restart the speedometer from this right button. This is a software reset. The only thing that we have to do is to simply press here and look on your display. This should uh, restart it. And on the duster, we appear with uh, some bars between the minimum and the maximum. After that, uh, you can simply close the DTT for our program and disconnect the OBD2 interface. I hope you enjoy also this video and see you soon.